The key topic which are covered in this video is log file format conversion in Keno. In your regular work use case, sometimes you will not work with the same log format every now and then. For example, if you receive a .blf file and if you wanted to convert the file format to a .ac file, which is a readable format, then of course you need a conversion. But for which you don't need to search for some external tools. Yes, with the Keno tool itself, you can get this job done in a very pretty easy way. It is that simple. There are two ways to convert the log files from one format to another format in Kano. First method is converting the logs through logging file conversion tool. And the second method is converting the logs through measurement setup. Let us look in detail on the methods one by one. Method one, using log file conversion tool. Let us first look into how we could convert the log file format using the logging file conversion tool. All you have to do is first of all, open your Kano application, go to the start, type in your Kano application and then click on to the Kano application. Then you will have this configuration opened. Okay. After the Kano configuration is opened, go to the tools section where you will find the logging file conversion option under the mode tab. Click into the logging file conversion tab and you will be prompted with a logging file conversion dialog box. And this is where you can enter your source file. I mean the file which you wanted to convert from one format to another format. All you have to do is first mention your source file path here. Uh, I already had selected the file. And then the second is the destination file format or the path where you wanted to save. Uh, firstly, uh, here you could select the file and then here you can select the destination path. Along with that, you can specify in which format that you wanted to convert. We have the options. Here in this case, I'm going to convert the BLF format to a .ac format. So for that purpose, uh, I have uh, given the uh, um, logs. Uh, it is not only going to convert the format, but also it gives an additional option of converting the log, but then in your specified time format. For instance, you can specify whether you wanted to convert your log as a whole, or else you wanted to convert only a part of your log. Uh, it is based on your own uh, need. <clears throat> you can either convert your log right from the beginning to the end or the middle portion of the log, or you can uh, convert from the start to the middle or middle to the end or whatever it may be. Uh, it is based on the uh, start and end duration, which you mention it over here. <clears throat> For instance, in this case, I'm going to give the start as zero and then I know that the complete duration of this file is 53 seconds. So I'm going to convert entire portion of the log. So once if this time duration is selected, you can click save. The conversion will be started and you will find the destination file where you will see the converted logs. So I I mentioned a specific uh, folder for the converted log where I see the uh, uh, .ac file got generated for the uh, BLF file which I have already loaded. If you notice this part, the size of the log which is converted is around 65 MB because I converted the entire log. But as I said earlier, if you wanted to convert only a part of your log, not the entire log, then you have the option of specifying your start and end duration. Specify it as 40. Okay. Now, I just wanted to uh, convert the log from BLF to AAC file and also from the duration 40 to 53 seconds. I am clicking on to the save. I am replacing it the file. Earlier, you saw the file size was 65 MB around. Now, you just see, we got the converted log, but then the size is 14 MB. It means that 
it just converted only the part of the log which you have mentioned so in this way you can convert your log format and also customize it based on your needs through this logging file conversion tool so this is about the logging file conversion tool method 2 using measurement setup okay in this section we are going to see how to convert the log from one format to another format but instead of the logging file tool we are going to use another method so here um, you have to go to the analysis part and then click on to the measurement setup and you will be prompted to this measurement setup uh, panel and we are going to work or we are going to convert the log here only all you have to do is uh, this conversion will work uh, only if you uh, specify it in the offline so uh, right click onto this tab and then uh, click onto the offline so that it allows you to um, uh, load your uh, available logs so double click onto this uh, um, folder and uh, you will be uh, prompted with uh, the offline mode window where you have the option to select your uh, file log file so click onto this plus symbol where you can load the log I already have a log of format uh, BLF file and I have selected the BLF file. Close it now and uh, go to the logging tab here. Uh, it needs to be enabled. So that is a precondition here. Uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, keep it in offline mode and we are going to run this measurement so that the, uh, the, the load which you have loaded here it will be logged as well but in the logging side you have to select in which format that you wanted to convert okay uh, so go to the uh, the logging block where you have the option to um, mention your path of the uh, log and the format of the log so double click here uh, here you have the uh, logging file configuration will be opened and uh, specify the uh, destination folder uh, so i already mentioned the destination folder and uh, the name of the um, logging file. So here I am going to give it as uh, converted underscore m uh, to differentiate between the earlier file uh, which we have converted through the uh, logging file conversion tool and between the uh, measurement setup. So I mentioned it as uh, destination file as converted underscore m um, and I selected the uh, option here uh, the format the file format. So I specified it as .ac uh, since the source file format is uh, .blf uh, I need to convert that into this format uh, and also if you have um, if you wanted to filter filter out some of the uh, events then you can disable your capital events or um, the trigger events so all these things you, if you wanted to remove off you can uh, deselect these options uh, so for the moment the focus is only on to the conversion of the uh, file format. Uh, so I am selecting only the file format here. There is a secondary option where you could uh, convert it. So uh, we are all set. Uh, now I am going to uh, run the measurement so that the, the BLF format will be saved as a .ac file uh, with the format name as uh, converted underscore m as a file name. Let me run the measurement. So it is running now. Uh, you see the trace window where you could see all the uh, signals flowing around and um, yeah. It's, it's completed. Uh, now if you see here the converted underscore m dot AAC uh, again the file size is 65 it means it converted the entire uh, log uh, to the dot AAC format. Uh, so it's it's the secondary way by which you could uh, uh, convert the uh, log format. Again it gives the same versatility of the options um, just another way but in this way also we have few more options for us for instance if you have a do, uh, log in which if you wanted to filter it out it's not only about the conversion of the file format but also if you wanted to filter some of your can events then uh, you can also make use of few more options here so in the logging block you have a small uh, square box over here right click on it and then you have the option of filtering it out in the can channels which you wanted to really um, store it for instance now I'm going to uh, insert a can channel filter uh, and here I can configure 
and I can choose, okay, in, in the uh, BLF file, I have all this uh, uh, CAN channels active, but I wanted to only focus about the CAN2, and I just wanted to filter it out all the other, or block the other CAN, CAN filters. So I block all, and then I pass only the CAN2. What happens here is that it is not only going to convert your .blf to a .ac file, but also it is going to filter it out the other CAN channels and it's going to give only the CAN2 alone. So now if I'm going to run this measurement, it's going to override the converted underscore M, but then it, in this time uh, the, the, the log which is saved, it's going to have only the CAN2 network. So I see now the, um, the file the file size is reduced from 65 MB to uh, 17 MB. This is because uh, um, most of the other CAN channels are filtered already. Um, so also if you wanted to uh, verify it, uh, let me show you. If you load again here, the converted log, let me go to the converted logs, converted underscore M dot AC file, uh, which is going to have only the CAN one alone. I'm closing it out and this time I'm not going to save it again. I'm just wanted to see whether uh, only the CAN2 uh, channels are visible. So if I disable it, it's not going to overwrite my uh, logging file. Let me run the measurement to see it. You see, it's all only the CAN2. There is no CAN1 or CAN3 or CAN4. It's all about the CAN channels uh, 2, which is filtered out when I convert it from one format to another format. So this is another way. Um, so it's not only going to uh, uh, give the option about filtering it out the CAN channels, but also it has the other options of uh, the event if you wanted to filter or the program nodes that you wanted to, uh, wanted to set it up. So all the options it's available. Uh, in a normal way, if you wanted to filter it out um, uh, from the live uh, recording the same way you can also filter it out or work with the different filters here uh, in the offline mode as well so this is the uh, additional options uh, that we have it on the uh, measurement setup so this is about the uh, log file conversion uh, through measurement setup with that we had come to the conclusion of this video hope you got a better insight on how to convert your log file formats in Keno hope you like this video Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for notifications on future series of videos. Thank you. See you in another video.